Okay, welcome back. What we want to do is continue with Tettingill's Certificate of Electrotechnical Technology, and this is level two work, okay? Principles of Electrotechnology. I'll come on describe the application of the basic units used in electrotechnology session one basic SI unit and their multiples to be at aim and objective of this session to be able to identify the SI unit multiple sub multiple symbol and quantity commonly used in the electrotechnology forum to be able to say why SI units are used and how quantities are managed. Okay. SI units, to make it easier for everyone to understand each other, a common standard has been adopted, and that is the Le System International de Unites, or SI units, officially came into being in October 1960 and has been officially recognized and adopted by nearly all countries. Okay. Definition of SI units. Below are the fundamental units from which others are de derived meter m, kilogram kg, second s, ampere a, kelvin k, mole, mol. The mole is the basic unit of a substance. Candela, basic unit of luminance. Okay. Uh, let me just get you. Let me just go back a little bit. Yes. Okay. Just make sure that I have I have it in camera. The camera looked a bit dark at the time, so bear with, bear with me for a moment. I'm just recapping. Okay. That's where we were, okay. Derived units, all units can be derived or made from these fundamental units. The units cannot be broken down into any smaller elements, okay. Units and symbols. Current potential, resistance, resistivity, temperature, mass, force. Okay, V volt potential potential is V or U. Okay, volts. Okay, etc. That's for you to read for yourselves. You don't need me to take that through for you. Units and symbols of uh, magnetic flux density B it should be Tesla, it should be Tesla, okay. Unit, the amount of magnetic flux per unit area of a section, P period, 
time seconds, frequency, hertz, power P in watts, energy in work done or joules. Okay, length L in meters, areas, meter square, weight, newtons, pressure is Pascal. There you have your SI prefixes, okay. All prefixes are based on the power of 10. The power of 10 is positive if for numbers larger than 10 and negative for numbers less than 1. Okay. Kilo is 10 to the 3, mega is 10 to the 6. Okay. You can read the rest for yourself. Okay. Standard form. The reason why we do this becomes clear when we start to do calculations. Instead of talking about an appliance being rated at 5.837 times 10 to the 3 watts, we say 5.87 kilowatts. The K is used to mean 10 to the 3 or a thousand. Standard form is when there is one and only one digit to the left of the decimal points. In, in engineering form, we would write 5.837k and can have more than one number in front of a decimal place. The index can be positive or negative depending on which side the decimal point has been moved from. Okay. Okay, thank you. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day. Bye-bye.